Now we're going to start talking conceptually about the approach that we're going to use to find areas, and we're going to use a technique called Riemann sums. This is named after Bernard Riemann. Now Bernard Riemann was a great mathematician. He's actually much more famous for a problem called the Riemann hypothesis, which currently is the single most famous unsolved question in mathematics. Now, what this hypothesis says, even just stating the question, is well beyond the scope of a first year calculus class. So we're not going to talk about the Riemann hypothesis, but I recommend that just if you're interested in higher mathematics. Here we're going to talk about Riemann's approach to finding area. And what he suggested was we could take the area under a function and divide it into rectangles, as shown here. So these rectangles, of course, have a thickness of delta x. And then what we have is a bunch of x-coordinates associated with these rectangles. So let's just say for the sake of argument that we'll take the x-coordinate at the left side of each rectangle. So what we get is we have an x1 here, an x2 here, an x3 here, dot, 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 all the way up to an xn. And of course, x1 is going to equal just a, x2 is going to equal a plus delta x, x3 is going to equal a plus 2 delta x, and so forth. Then what we're going to do is take a sum of the area of those rectangles. And so here, the height of the rectangles, here what we're doing is we could call this a left-hand sum. Now we could do a left-hand sum, a right-hand sum, or a midpoint sum, but let's just focus on the left-hand sum. What we're going to say is for every rectangle, we're going to go to the left side of it, we're going to use that x-coordinate, and we're going to plug that x-coordinate into the function. So for example, that first rectangle, it's going to have a height of x1, f of x1 times delta x. The next rectangle is going to have an area of f of x2 times delta x and so forth then we're going to add up all those areas and so we can write this in summation notation the summation as i goes from 1 to n of f of x sub i times delta x now of course if we use here i've only drawn seven rectangles of course if we have only seven rectangles or 10 rectangles, that's going to be kind of a chunky division. And as you can easily see with these rectangles, there's going to be a little area left over. So it's not really going to do a very good job. It's going to give us a ballpark area. But the smaller we make delta x and the more rectangles we use, the closer we're going to get to the true area. And the idea is if we take a limit as delta x approaches zero of this sum, that this is going to equal the area. And so this is the basic idea of a Riemann sum. And we will calculate a Riemann sum in the next video.